Hello and welcome to News Update. The federal government has disclosed that Nigeria aims to launch a new national airline and will seek to sell a minority stake to a foreign airline or financial institution. The House of Representatives on Wednesday at plenary directed its committees on youth, labor, finance and appropriations to investigate the alleged failure of the special public works scheme introduced by the federal government to engage 774,000 youths. Senate has sought to upgrade the salary scale of staff of Public Complaints Commission from Consolidated Public Service Salary Structure to Consolidated Legislative Salary Structure. Germany's COVID-19 death toll on Wednesday surpassed 100,000 amidst rising new cases of the novel coronavirus just as a new government sets to take the reins. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, has said that in line with the federal government's commitment to further diversify the economy away from oil, Nigeria's non-oil revenue grew to 1.15 trillion naira, representing 15.7% above target rate. According to Denmark's armed forces on Thursday, a Danish naval patrol reportedly killed four pirates in a gun battle in the Gulf of Guinea off the coast of Nigeria. The government in Burkina Faso has extended the suspension of mobile internet services for another 96 hours amid anti-French demonstrations and growing political unrest in the country over insecurity. Unidentified gunmen killed at least three pupils aged 12, 16 and 17 and a French language teacher and several others were wounded in an attack on a school in Cameroon's southwest region on Wednesday, a local human rights group said. And as a news update, you can get more from TOS TV Network using the details currently showing on your screen.